hey guys welcome back to my channel investment pro today we are discussing how to buy and sell covered calls at e-trade so i'm gonna walk through that process you know it's a very simple process and a very few steps and you can sell or buy the covered call so let's get into the steps before doing the deep dive i would really appreciate if you can hit the like button and subscribe to my channel this helps channel grow and this video can reach the maximum watchers again guys before i start this is not a financial advice this is based on my experiences of what i'm doing with my stocks right so you do whatever you think is good for you i'm not your financial advisor so just be a mindful what you're doing and make your smart decision right don't follow my trades don't follow my thought process just do your own thing okay all right the very first step you know to create a covered call if you own a stock if you own a hundred stocks of any ticker symbol right so very first step is to go on trading and create and, and uh, click on options i had created a, a covered call for one of my stock in uh, this week and that for and, and that is the lucid stock i know lucid is doing great and they're gonna do good but since uh, i'm up my position like 50 percent i thought you know uh, instead of putting more money into the the trading why don't i uh, you know generate some income from my stocks right so currently i own same more than 1700 stocks in lucid and i thought maybe i should change my strategy and look into the covered calls to generate some additional income so that later on if i manage to pull this right i could buy more lucid shares since i'm long on lucid yeah that is the contradiction thing you know by having this covered call that my intent is to sell the lucid stock at, at at some price let's go through the process like uh, how i did it okay so you click on trading and you go into options then you put a ticker symbol lcid in my case and that it will bring you to the you know the, the ticker symbol the options chain on my right hand side you can see the different expiry date uh, you know and uh, then you see a uh, calls and puts and the spread between these two and you know a various strike price right so for example in my case uh, you can see I have a covered call uh, I have a 17 contracts for lucid uh, and my expiry date is uh, uh, May 6 so I have I have opened a covered call uh, for $21.50 for May 6th and I was able to buy that at uh, 0.75 cents so currently you can see I'm up more than 50% on my position but again guys this doesn't mean that you know uh, I could get 50% or more on every covered call there's a risk associated with it I'm gonna go through the risk later on but let's go through the steps right so you want to create a covered call you know for the stocks you own remember one one contract equals to 100 stocks right so you go uh, you select the call and then you do select the the uh, sell open and if in case you want to do a May 6th right you just select the quantity you want to uh, you want to uh, you know do the covered call so here is a uh, one contract and uh, you know uh, based on the options chain you can see hey uh, for May 6th I'm going to just uh, I want to uh, do a uh, you know 2050 as a strike price so i'll just select select this premium i just delete whatever i had as default so may 16 my strike price is 20 dollars and five cents and then then you know you have option either you do a market order or a limit order so i want to do a limit order so that i, I know what, what price i'm buying in so for this to have one our call on lucid uh, you know i'll be getting 56 dollars and 49 cents as a premium you know upfront for this call so that means like you know if my stocks hits 20 dollars and five cent uh, 20 dollars and 50 cents on may may 6th you know my my stocks position you know my one contract that is equal to 100 100 stocks will be sold at this price so i'm basically telling the market hey i'm willing to sell my stock at this price on by this date right in return what i'm getting my i'm losing my position in lucid right that's why i'm saying is there's a risk if you don't want to sell your lucid stocks and you are long and you want to keep holding you know it might be risky for you so again that's why i am said that's why i said you know i'm not a financial advisor you do whatever you want my whole intent is to you know generate some more income additional income and put that money if i'm able to pull that off in back into the lucid to increase my the share count right 
so here you can see I, i'm gonna get 56.49 as a premium upfront this this amount gonna be credited into my trading account as soon as i i do the uh, you know uh, pre pre uh, if uh, I, as soon as i trigger i execute uh, i put the order and, and assuming it is executed so once you are happy with this your expiry date remember you know uh, i've i've seen people making this mistake so make sure that you select the sell open right you don't do the buy open which is by default at e trade so just do the select open right and put the amount of contract you're willing to you know buy or or you want to do the covered call right so and select your premium here so once you're done with this you just do a pre-order pre -order, pre uh, preview order and then you're good to go right and hopefully your your trade will be executed so there are like scenarios like let's discuss the outcomes right how this uh, this covered calls works right so these are for the, the few steps so before i discuss the, the risks and the, the possible outcomes let's do the how do you close if you want to if you don't want to wait for the May 6th and say hey I'm like for example I'm up for 50 percent almost right and I say hey I don't want to wait for May 6th right I want to just close my position and collect my collect my premium right so what's gonna happen right to in this case like you know I do the buy uh, I do a uh, uh, I do a buy open right that means I'm buying back my contract right I'm, I'm telling market hey I'm um, I'm, I'm not gonna my I'm gonna buy back my position right so that uh, uh, this is not available to sell right uh, at that twenty dollars and fifty cents price okay so that's how you close your position but you can also you can roll your positions and there are different scenarios we gonna we can talk later on right. So here you see I was able to execute uh, I executed this trade on 25th of April so meaning like uh, I have 17 contracts and I was able to get that for uh, point, uh, point 0.75 um, uh, point 75 that is equal to 12.75 and multiply by 100 so that means I got a premium of 1275 that's my passive income if in, in a scenario where I my, I do not lose my position in a scenario where that the stock price you know uh, doesn't hit uh, $21.50 right so I'm gonna keep my position my and my premium of 12 $1275 okay so that's the position um, uh, so risk right the very first step how it works so basically you own a shares of a stock or ETF that you would be willing to sell right so in my case it was lucid you determine the price uh, which you would be willing to sell your stock right in my case it was $20 and 20 uh, 50 cents in the example but in the, in, in in actual it was $21.50 for May 6th in my position right so you sell a call option with a strike price near to your desired sell price right so you're telling hey I'm gonna I'm willing to sell my stock position at this price in my case $21.50 with expiry of May 6th right you collect and keep the premium today while you wait to see if you will sell your stock at the higher price so you kind of uh, you may have to kind of keep an eye on your position right so let's discuss uh, how it works in terms of uh, risk versus rewards there, there are three possible scenarios three four possible scenarios right so if in case the price goes up right you know if just in case like lucid just skyrocketed and you know instead of eight, 18 dollars it just jumped to 30 dollars right in that case your gains are limited right since you have a strike price of twenty one dollars and fifty cent, but in that case you would your stocks you will lose your position, but you will collect the premium, right? So in that case, more prof profitable uh, would be if you didn't had a covered call, you just had a stock, right? So you can just you know gain the unlimited game. So the second scenario, uh, the stock price goes up a little, you know, if stock price just goes a little little bit up, right? It's a small gain. So in that case, a small gain you'll get the small gain, right? So it's just assuming in case the twenty one dollars and fifty cent in my case but if the stock price goes like $25 so uh, our, my stock position gonna be sold with a small with, with a you know 20 uh, one at 21 and 50 dollars 50 cents but I'll be collecting my premium so that means like a uh, uh, whatever 1275 uh, dollars in my case plus 21 dollars uh, and 50 cents whatever that amount gonna be uh, and plus this premium so that would be my total gain right so instead of 21 dollars and 50 cents this might be 22 dollars and, uh, and few cents right my actual sell price so again this is again a winning 
but in that case you will lose your position just remember right so if in case uh, the stay flat if then nothing happens like your your position uh, your the stock price remains as is or like fluctuate by few cents and no real gain right in case in that case you will you will uh, keep your premium assuming that the, the it stays flat until uh, may 6th you know until the options expire uh, you you will keep the premium and you will have your position right so that's a benefit in that case you would benefit from this cover call just in case the stock goes down so instead of uh, 18 the stock goes to 15 so in that case i would lose my my the value of my stock will lose right but i will still hold my my position since it didn't hit 12 21 dollars and 50 cents i would still you know keep my premiums in that case uh, you know i will have my premium i'll have my stock position my but value of my stocks will will lose again in this case the, the court call is is a benefit is, is also a benef uh, beneficial here so these are the you know uh, four outcomes the court calls you know uh, court calls comes out to be a winner the scenario where you know stock price drops significantly with covered calls uh, so, you know some of the loss is offset by the premium you keep from the selling the, the call right so overall i think uh, that you know uh, uh, i am assuming since we have fed meeting upcoming and uh, i know we had a great news about lucy that saudi arabia gonna uh, you're gonna order or they have reserved 100,000 evs for lucy in next for the next decade right i know that that's good news but my whole intent here i'm not saying that hey you should have this court call is again uh, the case by case in my case i wanted to uh, expose and take some risk to increase my position assuming that stroke price stock price lucid price won't hit 21 dollars and 50 cents by this may may 6 so that's the whole process like few steps you know and there are risks associated with it so make your own decision again i'm not your financial advisor but this is how is one of the one of the the strategy that you can apply if you want to, if you're willing to take some risk and uh, you want to you know earn some passive income you know without uh, doing the active trading again as i said there are there are risks associated with it so make your own decision and uh, since i'm not responsible for your financial advice or financial uh, decisions so yeah all right guys so thank you so much before you go please consider subscribing to my channel by hitting the subscribe button and and hit the like button so that it can reach to the you know the additional watchers all right guys thank you very much and i talk to you later